This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. All right, so it's hard not to get a little bit excited because we got images and videos surrounding the Galaxy S6 that suggest that not only is it a top hardware beast, but it actually might be a one-handed device. Please. Let me tell you, the leak train is just chugging along. This week, we received a benchmark that, if genuine, confirms our high expectations in the hardware department. Now, there's no major surprises here. The list confirms specs that have been heavily rumored in the past. With the 5.1-inch 1440x2560 display, 3 gigabytes of RAM, a 20 megapixel camera, and an Exynos 7420 processor. The benchmark score is way up there. The overall score is 60,978, and this comparison is with the Note 4 running an Exynos 5433, and shows that 3D graphics performance sees the biggest improvement. Citing people with direct knowledge of the matter, Bloomberg confirmed this week that both the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge will feature all metal bodies, and Samsung's most advanced processor chips. Both devices will feature a 5.1-inch screen and metal frames manufactured by the Chinese supplier BYD Electronic, said the sources. Did you hear that? A 5.1-inch display. And if I can just speak to the non-phablet fanatics in the audience right now, that's pretty amazing. Imagine if the phone had thinner bezels than the last. That user experience might be very similar to my Nexus 5, only much more powerful. See, I had the original Galaxy Note, which was 5.2 inches, but the bezels were thick and the phone itself was very, very thick. So with a much thinner phone, thinner bezels, all metal design, could be interesting. Slap Cyanogen mod on there, mmm. What do you guys think? Would you buy it? Now, for those of you who are fans of the OnePlus One, but have lamented because you actually can't get an invite, the wait is over, at least if it's Tuesday. OnePlus is making its no invite events a regular occurrence with the OnePlus One set to go on sale with no strings attached every Tuesday. Announced on the company blog this week, the new system will see both the 16GB silk white model and the 64GB sandstone black model go on sale without any invitations. The events will open every Tuesday at 12am Pacific, 3am Eastern, 8am British and 4pm Hong Kong time and will last for a total of 24 hours. OnePlus is not giving up on its invites anytime soon. The beloved system will remain in place for the other six days of the week, and users buying the one during the open windows will still receive invitations to give away to friends. All good news. Sadly though, it must be said that this is only for the global variant of the OnePlus One. All our friends in India and Indonesia won't get to join the fun. Now, for those of you who are fans of NVIDIA's Tegra K1, well, we received news of the Tegra X1, and it's looking pretty sweet. NVIDIA's Tegra X1 mobile system on a chip was one of the big announcements in CES 2015, and it's probably not a surprise to you that NVIDIA is apparently working on the successor to its Shield tablet, which will contain the company's latest processing package. NVIDIA even made the bold claim that after we see the demonstration of this new chip, that it will redefine the future of gaming. Look forward to seeing that. And that all will take place on March 3rd, just before the start of the Mobile World Congress. And NVIDIA has been up to big things lately with their latest system on a chip on the market, the Tegra K1, which has been running very well on devices like the Nexus 9. Now its successor, the Tegra X1, was announced in CES in January, expanding the availability of high-end 64-bit mobile processors on the market. The Tegra X1 NVIDIA tablet seems inevitable, but we can't wait to see it demonstrated in a few months. Now I gotta ask you, how is your team communicating? Are you using a mishmash of email, instant messaging, and cloud storage? What if you could use a great platform that integrates all that in one place? Email's too slow and meetings get sidetracked. HipChat keeps your team in sync and works from any device no matter where you are. The best part is that HipChat integrates with the top developer tools like GitHub, Jira, Zendesk, and check out the 57 servers that HipChat plays nice with. Get your team on the same page in seconds. You can try HipChat free, no credit card required, if you visit hipchat.com forward slash Android Authority. Sign up by clicking start chatting and then invite a few team members and try it out free for 30 days. Remember that's hipchat.com forward slash Android Authority. And for the first 100 signups, HipChat is going to extend their 30 day free trial to 90 days. HipChat, your team, your project in sync, 
instantly. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter. I've been having good conversations with people on both. You don't want to forget about my brothers in Android, Joss, Joe, and the Tech Ninja, Kevin, Lonnie, Chris, Gary, Nash, and Taylor, all working their butts off to be the very best source for all things Android. I have another show coming up later today or tomorrow, whenever I finish this one, all about smartwatches. You want to look for that. I shall see you later on Android Weekly.